But first up, Richard Owen Roberts' debut novel, Hello Friend, We Missed You, was originally scheduled for release earlier this year, but the outset of the pandemic meant the physical release was delayed until just last month, whereupon it was anointed winner of the prestigious Guardian Not the Booker Prize, an award set up ten years ago to shed light on books not nominated for the Booker Prize, but should have been. Hello Friend, We Missed You is an experimental novel, and to quote the blurb, is poignant and comic. It's about loneliness, Netflix, rural life, Jack Black, and learning to live in the least excruciating way possible. Here's an excerpt. An extract there from the beginning of the book where our protagonist, Hill, returns to his childhood home to deal with his ageing father. Obviously a very interesting book and a lot of attention on it at the moment as probably the most successful Welsh novel of the year. Simon, I'll come to you first. Uh, what did you think of Hello Friend, We Missed You? Well, I was completely knocked out by this. Um, you say there's been a, a fair amount of noise around it, but I'd missed all that. Um, so I, I came to it completely fresh. It sets out its stylistic stall from the very first page. And actually, I did wonder for a page or two, is this going to be some kind of literary conceit that's going to be difficult to sustain throughout the book and a case of style over substance? But really, the style is the substance. It cuts right to the bone and there's, there's nothing in the way of pretense. That's not to say the writing isn't beautiful, because it is. Throughout, it's uh, the mundane made poignant and, and there's a breathlessness and spontaneity in the prose. It's quite an incredible achievement, and um, I haven't felt like this about a book for a long time. The general response seems to be uh, quite a lot of people just not getting it, and, and a lot of other people going wild for it. And I think I am uh, certainly fall in the, in the latter category. I think it's a, it's a really interesting but exciting achievement as well. Sarah, what did you think? Uh, the same as Simon, really. I, I read it in two sittings, which is really rare for me to kind of sit down and, and devour a book in that way. And, yeah, I agree. It does feel very millennial in its stylistic approach and I did wonder in that first um, chapter could, can he maintain this but he does and pulls you in and it's written in a, the third person perspective which is really interesting because it kind of takes you very quickly from the mundane to the comic to deep deep sadness and back and yeah I really really enjoyed it I, I, it kind of grabbed me from from the get-go I read it in a pretty short period as well and I want to go back and read it again because there's a lot going on there, but it's not forced at all. Everything seems to naturally fall into place. And you notice these little things going on, like the constant repetition, and then these motifs that keep appearing, like um, oversized cable knit sweaters. And, and that's what's kind of beautiful about the book. It's not really the plot or, or any of the other maybe conceits around it. It's just very, very poetic and poignant. The prose does have a cumulative effect, doesn't it? You get into this, you know, the strange structures. I really like what Roberts is doing with white space. I love seeing that use of white space as a mechanism for controlling the reader's rhythms. And there's a certain poetry to it. But I like what you said, Simon, as well, that, that the style is the substance. And uh, Hill, the protagonist, uh, who's a difficult character to get to know, although at the same time we, we are embedded in, in his point of view. His detachedness is reflected in the very structure of the prose, which I think is, is a really exciting way of approaching uh, the work. Sarah, what did you think of the, uh, the experimental structures? Yeah, I really enjoyed it. I liked the um, clipped sentences, you know, the repetition. The, some chapters that were incredibly short. Um, I also liked the use of WhatsApp, how it slips easily into um, kind of modern forms of communication. And it feels really natural and not forced. You can tell it's been written by somebody who's very used to communicating in that way. So, yeah, I really kind of enjoyed the experimental aspect. It's a book, I think, that's attempting to create a literary language out of millennial uh, cultural apparatus, if, uh, if you want to call it that. And that language doesn't need to be understood term by term, I don't think. I mean, there's certain things in I didn't really understand what the references were. References to lots of apps and, and uh, things like that, which, you know, I, I certainly didn't understand. But I wasn't going away to look them up. It was, it was all kind of part of the effect. Uh, Simon, what did you think of, of the structure? Yeah, I, I, I felt the same as you about that. Um, it reminded me the first time I read um, Douglas Copeland or um, Brett Easton Ellis. Uh, that, that It was that kind of freshness in the sense that there was a new language there. It also reminded me, weirdly, of um, 60s kind of kitchen sink reality as well. The, 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 there's a lot of mundane in it. And I thought one of the things that he's done incredibly well here, I, know, I don't know, there may be other books out there that do this, but uh, I've not seen it done before, was the way that social media is brought into that and it doesn't stand out at all. 
One of the things that kept occurring to me was that um, this felt like a ve very modern novel, but a very Welsh novel as well. And I'm excited to see what it is that modern Welsh fiction can be in the 21st century. And I think this type of witty experimentalism is very exciting. And you could look back on this novel in, in future and say that was a really important moment in the development of modern Welsh literature or the modern Welsh novel. Hello, Friend, We Missed You by Richard Owen Roberts is available now from Parthian Books.